Hey, Abizu here, and in this video, I'll be showing you how I scaled my Shopify dropshipping store from zero to $15,000 a day in just five days. So make sure to watch this video till the end because I'll be revealing um, what to expect when you scale your store to $10,000, $15,000 a day in revenue. And I'll be talking about the pros and the cons and just basically so you know what to expect. So make sure to watch this video till the end. Before we dive into this video, I just want to tell you that I'll be giving a free winning product throughout this video. So make sure to watch this video till the end because you never know when the winning product will pop up on my screen. So I'll be revealing one of the winners that you can test throughout the whole video. So make sure to watch till the end so you don't miss it. Um, so guys, right now let's go and show you a little bit of proof, right? So. As you guys can see, you know, I was at $60 a day revenue. Uh, my ads were like very penalized, they were just penalized and they performed very badly. Um, and as you can see guys, um, so it was $300, 1,300, uh, 3,700, 7,700 and 15,000. So it was just about five days to 15K a day. Uh, let's just refresh and show you guys. Um, yeah, it's a little bit slow. Ah, okay, so I guess I'll have to, I'll have to show it again. So then it's, you know, so yeah, basically, as you can see, uh, those are the data. Like if you look at the whole month, you know, I was very struggle. I was kind of struggling for January. So let's show you guys the whole month. Yeah, so as you can see, you know, it was very bad. Uh, a lot of those days weren't really profitable. Um, at $60 a day, I was like losing money. And you know, as you guys can see, uh, it scaled very fast. Okay guys, so right now we are in order metrics. Uh, it is an amazing app that tracks uh, profits. Um, you know, as you can see, it shows the number of orders, the revenue, uh, the cost of your products. Um, what I also like about it, that it also tracks your fees um, as well. You know, refunds, it also takes from Shopify, all automatic, you know. Um, also, you can see the ad spend. Um, yeah, basically, you can see everything. You can see the profit margins, uh, you know. So, basically, guys, um, this was this was the 18th, and it was very bad. As you can see, $360, and I was losing money. I, was, I lost around uh, 90 bucks. So I decided to start scaling um, because, you know, I, I knew that this product still has potential and I just wanted to scale it before Chinese New Year's uh, to squeeze some, to get some profits before, before, you know, that starts. So then the next day I just increased the ad spend and as you can see, I was at 8% profit. Um, so it was getting better, you know, because before the conversion rate, uh, like yesterday, uh, like the day before, you know, it was just like around 1%. So it just really improved. Um, and that, that wasn't like that. I didn't do any changes. It was just Facebook sending me better traffic. Uh, a lot of people, they think like Facebook is very consistent. But the thing is, uh, a lot of ad incons inconsistencies happen. You know, like people who scale, they, they know that, you know, some days your profit can be 10%. Some days it can be 25% profit, you know, so don't be worried if just one day is bad um okay guys so then the next day it was three thousand seven hundred um i just like, really increased my ad spend basically you can see um can you also see the break breakdown yeah so i'm spending a 60 bucks on google ads and you can see so it's 16 percent profit and keep in mind guys um during that time i was still penalized um, so I was still penalized um, because I had poor cu customer feedback score uh, like due to long, long shipping times with my supplier. Um, and, but this, this is now getting fixed for the, like, for the last two months. Uh, I just got a better supplier and it's just improving. Um, so then the next day I increased the ad spend more. Basically um, from the day before when I was 3,700, I decided to increase my ad spend by $4,000 a day. I basically added a ton of $100 a day ad sets and some campaign budget optimization uh, at $250 to $500. And uh, as you can see, um, I kind of doubled my ad spend. So I didn't, I didn't uh, increase it by 4,000. 
I added 4,000 in ad spend, but throughout the day, I killed a lot of ad sets uh, that weren't performing well. And as you guys can see, so at 7K uh, that day, uh, I made 14% profit. It was $1,000 profit, right? And let's go to the next day. So the next day was the 15K day. So I, I did the same. I just increased uh, my ad spend by another $4,000. And throughout the day, I was killing. Um, I was killing ad sets, basically. Uh, I was turning off ad sets. And when you guys can see, so that ad spend just increased again um, by almost double, right? And that day was 19% profit, $3,000, almost $3,000 profit. You guys can see conversion rate also increased. Um, yeah, so let me just show you guys like at 15K a day how it looks like. So it's 300 orders. You know, I'm spending around uh, $5,000, so around 30, 33% on just products. Uh, the fees, yeah, the fees are very painful. Just lost $650 on uh, PayPal and like for PayPal and payment processor fees. Uh, we had some, we had some refunds. Uh, that's pretty normal, a little bit of refunds. And as you guys can see, so my product, uh, I sell it for $40, but because I have so many upsells and so many systems set up, uh, my average order value, value is almost 50. And the average order profit, instead of being 25, it is almost $31 per order. Um, you know, and as you guys can see, my average uh, ad spend per order, basically CPP, um, is $21. So a lot of you guys are selling products for, I don't know, 30 bucks with $20 margins. And nowadays it can be, it can be rough. It can be tough uh, to operate with just $20 profit margins because you guys can see uh, my cost per purchase is around $21. Um, and by the way, so uh, basically my cost per clicks um, are very expensive, just $1 per click. You guys can see, so my ad spend is 6,400 and my unique visitors is 6,900. So around $1 per visitor I'm spending. Okay, so then the next day, um, okay, so then the next day, then the next day I didn't really try to increase my ad spend. I just turn off uh, some ad sets. And as you guys can see, uh, my ad spend just went down a little bit. Uh, but as you guys can see, um, the ads are inconsistent. You know, uh, like my ad spend didn't didn't really didn't really change. But as you guys can see, my revenue changed by 10%. So this is basically Facebook. You know, it's not like a machine that every day it's gonna be the same. You know, uh, but that day my average order profit went up to 32. Yeah, went went up to 32 dollars. And the, the profit margins went to 17 uh, percent, uh, which is which was two thousand three hundred dollars profit. Um, then the next day, guys, um, I got a notification from Facebook that my finally my customer feedback score went up. So it it went above two, and basically my ads are no longer penalized. And just watch what happened when my ads finally got unpenalized, like depenalized, or what is it called? And guys, check this. So, so as you guys can see, um, that is not the end of the day, guys. That is still, um, I still have around five or six, I think I have like less than six hours left, like five and a half hours left to the end of the day. So I think I'm gonna end at 17K, right? And as you guys can see, I didn't really increase my ad spend, right? I even lowered my ad spend and my profit margin just went up by uh, just went up from, I think like 17%, right? From 17% to 23%, just like that. My conversion rate also increased, guys. So, you know, like you guys really should focus on your customer feedback score because like just in one day, it just really changed, you know? Like yesterday, it was pretty bad, the 23rd. So check this, guys. It was 17% profit, right? 17% profit. Um, and then, and then just like when, when I got unpenalized, it just, it just, the profit margin just went up by 6%, just like that instantly. So then I also want to go into the ads manager as well and show you guys, um, show you guys like what campaigns work the best for me as well. 
Okay, so right now we are in my ads manager and as you guys can see, um, yeah, so let me show you like a longer time frame. Yeah, so basically since, since I'm scaling, so it was around, I don't know, I think it was Friday. Yeah, Friday till now. Okay, so um, yeah, I, I'm gonna show you guys like all the ROAS. Uh, you guys can see that, right? So this is a CBO at $1,000 per day. Um, yeah, so it's 2.15 ROAS, um, which is my, uh, so this, this is basically my biggest campaign. So this is, uh, this is a lot of hundred dollar a day ad sets. Um, and as you can see the ROAS on those is 1.11. Uh, the problem with those ad sets is that I'm testing a lot of ad sets. A lot of them are not working and I have to kill them. So it's kind of like lowering the ROAS of that campaign, right? Um, so that's why I like C. That's why I like CBOs. So here, this one is a CBO at two hundred fifty dollars a day, and the ROAS is just much better. To, you know, you guys can see the cost of purchase twenty two dollars. This is nineteen dollars, right? And the CBOs are overall slightly performing better, like nineteen dollars cost of purchase twenty dollars twenty twenty one, and here it's around twenty two. Uh, here you guys can see my DPA. Uh, this is uh, this is DPA retargeting. Um, yeah, this is basically DPA retargeting. Um, uh, as you guys can see, DPA retargeting, and um, it's not it's not working as well. Two point eight because I'm testing a lot of things there. Uh, and then this one, this one is also this one is uh, another retargeting campaign as well. All right, guys, let's talk about the reality and the, like what to expect when you scale to 10K, 15K a day. A lot of people, they promote dropshipping as like a laptop lifestyle, just be on a beach, chill, you know, enjoy your time. And yes, it can be like that, but it's not going to be like that from the beginning. Um, with dropshipping, you know, in the beginning, you just do a lot of work, you learn a lot of skills, and then you test products, right? And once you hit your home run, it's gonna go very fast. You're gonna scale very fast. The first time I scaled, it took me, I think, uh, from zero to, to 10K a day, it took me 17 days to just scale up, right? And it wasn't, it wasn't just like all sunshine and rainbows. Um, during, like, during that time when I scaled, you guys can check my older videos. And basically during those times, I was just so stressed. Um, it was kinda, when I was scaling, it was kinda like a mix of anxiety and like excitement i was so excited that i was like seeing success and progress but on the other hand i just felt a lot of anxiety because it was just out of my reality like making so much money and also like since my background you know my, back, my background was just like eight years of failure and then finally like seeing success and just like so much success or so much growth in just a short amount of time it was just out of my reality and I was just all day I was just like anxious and excited at the same time and I just like wasn't able to even sleep so I was probably working like 20 22 hours a day like some days I wasn't really even sleeping because it was like very like it was so overwhelming guys and I also talked to some of my other friends who scaled uh, like last year like in October or November and they had the same experience it was their first time basically scaling and they they just you know they, they were just like so excited and anxious at the same time so you know guys don't think that dropshipping is gonna be like you work four hours um, per week you know that's that's not a four hour work week in the beginning it's a lot of work then you know once you scale once you systemize your business you hire VAs um, it's gonna be way more manage manageable you can probably work like 30 to 60 minutes per day basically uh, to manage uh, like your business you know another thing that a lot of gurus are not talking about is they're basically teaching you how to scale but they're not teaching you like how to well, like what to do after you scale or what to do during scaling and a lot of people they just kind of scale and they don't they don't have like much experience um, with like what to do next and they make a lot of mistakes uh, for example me um, I basically scaled very fast and I had a bad supplier and I wasn't aware of it. And that supplier caused so much issues with customer feedback. You know, I almost lost my Facebook ad account, probably lost, uh, I almost like got banned by Facebook because if they, if they basically ban your Facebook page, they'll probably also ban your domain and your business. 
Um, so that is very scary. So I almost lost my Facebook's, uh, Facebook uh, ad account and I also almost lost my PayPal account because I got so many disputes from a bad supplier. Um, there is other things, you know, I basically also got scammed uh, by an accountant, you know. So there is a lot of things, guys, and like people, people don't really talk about that, but you know, um, Shopify dropshipping is not just about scaling and then just like living on the beach. It is actually building a real business. Um, what I'm doing nowadays, it's I'm not focusing on like product research or, or like some random Facebook setting, uh, face, Facebook settings. What I'm doing nowadays is I'm talking to tax advisors, I'm talking to accountants, I'm going to banks, uh, talking about getting custom rates, I'm going to PayPal, uh, talking about getting cheaper fees. You know, this is the stuff that I'm doing. I'm also hiring people. Um, I'm looking for people to hire like experts for like I have an email marketing expert. I'm probably gonna hire someone for Google Ads again. You know, so this is like a lot of people they think like this is um, like a get rich quick scheme or this is like a laptop lifestyle on a beach. Um, it can be. You know, it's definitely not a get rich quick scheme, uh, and it can be like a laptop lifestyle and chill on the beach. But like. When you start as a beginner, you know, it's not gonna be like that. It's a lot of hustle, right? So guys, don't listen to these gurus, you know, trying to like sell you the lifestyle and the cars and stuff like that. And like the, just like working one hour, um, like one hour a week or something like that. You know, this is not passive income. This is building a business. Oh, I also forgot to mention uh, in my video is uh, about the thing with like scaling is um, what you should expect when you scale the first time as well is that you will be at home a lot like there are times where I don't leave my house for three days in a row or four days in a row I'm kind of like a cave dweller or something like that it's a really strange guys like I'm shooting YouTube videos uh, for you guys but like I'm not really going out of my house and like when you scale your first time it's gonna be like so much work um, it's gonna be like you're gonna have um, you're gonna be dealing with like your supplier, uh, PayPal, Facebook, you know, um, there's gonna be a lot of things just happening very quick. And usually what happens is you're just gonna, you're just gonna work a lot. Um, you're gonna work probably like 16, 16 hours a day or something like that. Um, in my personal experience, when I scaled the first time in October, which you can watch my older videos, I think I was like sleeping, yeah, I was sleeping like very few, I was sleeping like uh, two hours a day or something like that. I was working like 20 hours a day 22 hours a day um, And like I wasn't even like eating so uh, I personally like lost like I think 15 to 20 pounds of weight um, So right now I think I weigh like 100 or 105 pounds, which is 40 I think like 47 kilos so something like that. This is how much I weigh. So I lost a lot of weight I talked to other friends who like scale uh, basically, they like a few of them also the same thing happened to them. Uh, they were just like really overworked, you know, uh, they lost weight and they didn't really have much time for anything else and they're just kind of like uh, cave dwellers. But that's totally fine, guys. Like, this is the first time like you're building your business and the first time it's gonna be a little bit chaotic, a little bit stressful. But like, once you learn more, like, once you like have more experience under your belt, it's just gonna bet, it's just gonna get better and better. Uh, right now, this is like my second wave of like really scaling and I think I'm like handling handling it much better. The thing is, um, I'm still kind of like not used to scaling as much because I just hit my record. Um, so yesterday, that day ended at 17k and the thing is guys, um, like whenever I go to bed, right? Uh, whenever I go to bed, like my ad account is set to LA time. So the midnight of LA time is basically uh, 9 a.m. for me. So whenever I go to bed, um, it's basically I'll have another eight hours of ad spend, which I don't really know what is happening, right? So whenever, like, the thing is, like, I'm sometimes like a little bit worried, like, to go to bed because, like, I'm like, man, like, are the ads just gonna mess up or something like that? Like, is something gonna mess up with Facebook? And then, like, the whole night, you know, the ads will spend unprofitably, and I'll lose all my profit, you know. Um, so I'm kind of like still kind of paranoid, but the thing guys, um, it's been all good, you know, it's just me being really paranoid, so don't really mind that. Um, anyways, uh, I hope you guys uh, like this quick update and like this like a uh, vlog style video. I'm a really, 
I'm like really not used to vlogging. Um, the camera is pretty heavy. So, you know, um, I hope you guys, I hope you guys enjoyed the, this video. Uh, make sure, make sure to subscribe, you know, uh, share in the comments, like what you guys wanna see. Um, like what else you guys wanna see, like what kind of video topics. Uh, I'll make sure to show you as much as possible. You know, um, I've, I'm thinking that I will release a video where, where I'll show you some actual like ad sets, you know, like the targeting and stuff like that and explain to you guys some, some things. Um, anyways, uh, see you in the next one.